Many times in our lives, we make decisions that we're not that proud of. Sometimes they affect our careers, our reputations, but definitely the people around us, friends and families. In retrospect, we think, maybe because of guilt or shame, was it all worthwhile? Meet Sunday, age 25. Sunday is a serial criminal who is participating in a lot of nefarious activities to make money. The long arm of the law caught up with him when his legs became too short to carry him out of harm's way. Sunday considers himself very lucky to be alive to tell this story. It was a bright and beautiful morning as the rays of the morning sun shone on the 25th of June 2015. Mr. and Mrs. Ayola left their home to end a living as they do every day leaving their four-year-old in the safe hands of his minder. What they didn't know, however, is that by the time the sun sets, the whole neighborhood will be telling a not-so-beautiful story. My name now, Sunday. I feel tell me say, we go do once. Say they gonna say we go collect money, big money. Say no be small money. I say sure. I say yes now. Say more good one. I say okay, no problem. So we drive off to the place. So when we get there, we knock the gate. The housemaid asks us, say who be that? We answer and say, now we never. Say me open gate. Say where they are beat. As the housemaid open their gates like this. And you enter inside the house. Near the outside, they watch outside. How they go outside? My two friends enter inside. We know the thing we will take we go for that for that house. Ordinary and can I use obtain? Then my friend don't put one kind of part for inside the yanky. Take and block the housemate nose. Carry on, go inside. Go lock the housemate for inside the kitchen. Carry their system and phones inside the house. And the baby boy, the boy is like five years or four years boy. So, so we took the boy, we go and lodge him at Songo side. I want to tell you that. That's where we carry the boy go. Go lodge him. Come to call him that they say, in boy day here. Say, any damn or not. He does say, any damn. Say, how much people want? We tell and say we want 1.5 million naira. So the boy, Papa can tell say, now 1.1 million, he go pay. Say no get money for him. He beg us, say more please sir. That's say more collect the money like that. Cause now the first one he go do with that. Now we do one. The man call us. We go give him boy. He carry money come. I think come say if you know, turn and say me if you like me come with police so say we no send them. To say no come with anybody. In carry the money come at in can come some go side or that side. I dey in come meet us. Carry the money come. Let me say in do transfer or check. In give us some cash now. We come only. We see him face to face. We sent one person to go and meet him. Not we actually that go and meet him where he is. So we sent someone to go and meet him and collect the money. So if, when he gave us the money, we not sent his boy to him. In one uncompleted building around there, that's where we meet. Basking in the success of their first operation, Sunday and his gang decided to get some fortification. That way they can continue their run, unhindered. Fortification, you might ask. Juju or jazz, simply put. When we collect the money, we go and lodge in one hotel at that song side. So we share the money. Out of, out of the money, we will share 1.1 million now. We will collect. I collect 230,000. 
So my friends are telling me that I still have balance to collect too. But the money, the balance that I have that we are going to use it to do jazz. And I said, okay, look that there's no problem. So the second day, we now went to one place like that, one village. I don't know the name of the village. Yeah. Now I went to the village. As we went to the village, we got me that man. So the man the man gave us the jazz, give us one kind things to put inside our house. That's whenever we are coming outside, we are going inside. Anything we do outside, nobody, nobody will hold us. If you have any stories you want to share with us, feel free to text the number on your screen. We promise to treat all your stories as confidential.